Hey guys, this is Jared. I'm going to be doing a little bit of tech of trickery here. Uh, what this is involving is uh, lots of combustion engines. All these engines that you see here from Buildcraft, they're combustion engines. And uh, as you all know, combustion engines can explode. And and especially if you have a lot of them like this, it, uh, it, it a normal Buildcraft pump, you're going to have to have more combustion engines and have a, have a lot of engines hooked up to it to be able to keep them all cool enough to... Um, to actually function constantly. These have been on for a really long time. Like enough actually it was about triple this. I actually moved the tanks out a little bit. Um so uh they they were where the stone pipes were. Um but I I wanted them to be have shared space, so I moved them out and combined them with a uh stone pipe. So when and it's pretty easy as you can probably see I have some some red power stuff right there to help out with us. Now what this is involving in this particular contraption is some industrial craft energy and uh and battery uh, packs. I think these are MFEs. No MFSUs. So and then they come into the oil fabricators. That's all that, that is with the bill uh, industrial craft. And then uh, it goes in through these pipes, and sometimes I get this little glitch. I don't know exactly what's going on, but it stops pouring uh, oil into into them, so I have to kind of check it. I don't know exactly what that is or if there's anything I can actually do to, to do that. But it's also going into these refineries right here. So um, underneath is the engines, and underneath that, as you can see, there's buckets of water going in, in there. Now, I... I have uh, this little contraption right here. I got this idea from uh, how to make a water mill. There's lots of videos about that, and if if you if you uh, have seen those, then you probably already know what I'm go where I'm going with this. Basically, you just need a lot of buckets and being filled up and everything from this. And I'll, I'll show you how to do this here in a second. But um, what what it's doing is is basically filling up the buckets with this deployer and sending them out with the the filter and uh, retrieving empty buckets back with the uh, retriever or uh, receiver I forget the name of that I think it's a retriever but um, as, as you can see it's working for quite well and even the one that's farthest away right here it's it's being powered or it's being watered uh, quite well I haven't I haven't done anything except for build this contraption and uh, and I, I, there's probably enough to fill this thing up for about three tanks high for all three so that's pretty good. So I'm going to turn to today, and um, I'm going to show you how to build this thing. So I'll be right back. But okay, so first thing you're going to want to do is dig out uh, a three by one little area, and then you want to place buckets on both sides. So this is an infinite water source. Then right here, you're going to, want to dig out quite a few, just just enough to where it reaches your engines and. Um, this can be really close to your engines, by the way. It's it's. it's, it's it could be like as it was over there. The engines could be right here, or whatever. Um, so right here in the middle of that three by one little area, you want to place a deployer facing the infinite water source right in the middle. And then on the other side of that, you're going to want to place a filter facing uh, the back side of this deployer. Then on the side of the the deployer, you're going to want to place a pneumatic tubing and then a retriever right on there. And you want to want to face the retriever the other direction of the two. The retriever is facing the direction of your engines. So on this side of the retriever and everything, you're going to want to place a a battery box right here and a solar panel on top of that and a, uh, a blue. Uh, alloy wire right there and then some pneumatic tubing right here now I'm going to be placing some more solar panels just so the, to speed the process up a little bit but that's all you need right there um, so I'm just going to set some right there and then place some some of uh, the solar panels right there and this should be filling up quite rapidly so then you want to just dig out uh, until you get to your engines or whatever and, and just kind of place these underneath or beside your your engines depending on whatever just whatever works it just put them underneath or, or whatever and um, on top of these you're going to do uh, your uh, get some get your timer a lever and this uh, red alloy wire and it might even you can might even just be able to use normal redstone I haven't I haven't thought about it but um, let's put a lever behind it and turn it on so the timer turns off 
And then on top of this, these you want to place your um, your red alloy wire. Now, inside of these, you're going to want to place a um, in, on the deployer. It can be any type of bucket. So I'm going to get some of the buckets out of here. And uh, ha. Um, you're going to want to place just any type of bucket and then the filter needs to get a full bucket and the retriever needs to get an empty bucket right there so one thing you need to note is uh, right here this uh, lightning bolt symbol this line needs to be on before the retriever will work um, so y you'll probably have enough time to start up your engines while this thing's charging and everything unless it's night maybe um, so turn this uh, timer all the way down and then up it a few times until you get to 550 that's the the peak uh, that's just the lowest amount of time it can be before it uh, hits the the maximum uh, usage of these so turn that on actually I'm gonna get some some combustion engines and put them on top of that so uh, you can kinda see it in action so right here I'm just gonna place them right right by each other and dig out so you can, can actually see what's going on so I'm gonna unpower this and you should see some water buckets flowing out and they're all going into this one and you'll notice it's it's probably not gonna that's probably not gonna be enough so you just fill this up with uh, uh, water buckets or buckets or whatever um, and the more you have the better it's gonna work and you can see this one's starting to get get a, a water and then that one will, and then that one will, and then this one will. So, there it's the more buckets you have. Like I said, it's gonna uh, fill these things up faster. So, um, these things can be going on for a long time, and I, I've never had one explode under this uh, uh, this uh, method. And this one, I have like I, I'm, not, I'm not even sure how many, but you can obviously tell that that's a lot. And with a buildcraft pump, you're gonna have to to uh, put more combustion engines, more steam engines, and whatever, and it's just not going to be nearly as good as a system as this. So, because um, I've I've had a combustion engine on a uh, pump f uh, fueling or uh, watering down three uh, combustion engines that were going, and it just they one they blew up in pretty much no time at all, and I had to be like really, really uh, careful on on. Uh, going filling up, and I basically had to fill them up more. I filled them up more than than the pump did actually, but uh, they ended up blowing up, and there's really nothing I could do. So now, uh, now you can just add a, a, a oil uh, fabricator up to them, and and they should be always being refueled like this. And then once they need a a, another water bucket it's going to call this empty bucket out and you'll see it in here in a second right now and then a new bucket is going to be coming over to fill this one and you're going to be set so this can be running for forever basically uh, I think that's it so yeah so I hope you guys like this video and I hope it was really helpful because I've had a big rough time uh, keeping my my combustion engine school so I build craft pump so I'm going to be changing up a few of my systems and uh, I'm gonna like see you guys later bye